Once you have a drawing worked out in your sketchbook, you're going to be ready to transfer it to your Pronto plate. As with many forms of printmaking, anything you draw on the plate is actually going to come out backwards when you run it through the press. I have some words in my image that I wanted to type, so I used the computer and I actually told the printer to print emulsion down. That way I'm starting with words that are backwards so that when I print them, they'll come out forwards. The only other thing in my image that I really care about, whether it comes out backwards or forwards, is the clock. My image is based on Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse went, ran down. So I don't want my clock to look like it's 11 o'clock when it prints. I want it to start out looking like 11 o'clock so when it prints backwards it will look like it says 1 o'clock. Now let's talk about what you can use to draw on your Pronto plates. Basically, the plates are made out of polyester and they're filled with thousands of tiny little holes that are going to hold water for us. When you draw on the plates, you need to use something that's waterproof and something that's going to fill those holes. For this project, we're mostly going to be sticking with Sharpies and ballpoint pens, um, but they're really, once you get the hang of it, there really is a long list of things that you can experiment with. The tricky part is figuring out if they're going to stick to the plate all by themselves or if you're choosing to work with an item that needs to be heat set. You can heat set them by baking them in the oven or on a hot plate. Um, but you know, for the beginner, sometimes it's easier to just start with the materials that are going to work just by drawing directly on the plate. I will tell you that even though right now I'm using uh, the skinny side of the Sharpie, we've had some bad luck with getting the thin sharp side of the Sharpie to fill the holes in the plate. You wouldn't even be able to see this, but um, the students that used the fat side of the Sharpie and the ballpoint pen had much better luck than the skinny Sharpie. I'm not saying that you can't use the skinny side of the Sharpie, I'm just saying that if you do, make sure that you really press hard and you color back and forth a bit to make sure that those teeny tiny holes in the Pronto plate are getting filled with that ink. Okay, there's one more tip I wanna share with you before we get started. Um, you might have noticed that I'm drawing with red ink. The reason for that, uh, I like to use this little tip with beginners, is that when I roll this up with ink, I'm going to be using black etching ink. And it's kind of hard when you get started to see where the ink is sticking and where the ink is not sticking. So if you draw with red or a different color, when you roll up the ink, it's going to be a lot easier to see. Again, that doesn't mean that you can't draw with a black marker or a black ballpoint pen or a black crayon. It's just going to make your life a little bit harder the first time you roll it up with ink. Okay, that's all I have to say for now. So let's get your plates and start drawing. <laughs> 